G O B. Welcome to another GOB course vlog video. I'm your host, Sons and Guns, here at the shipyard, the Brigantine Nine in South Carolina. A little bit of an overcast day. If you haven't already, go ahead and check out part one. Let's just go ahead and jump right into that next tee. Welcome back again. A one par four straight out and then slightly back to the right. Let the big dog eat to start and struck extremely well. Right out into the short grass. Mid range approach shot. Slightly pushed to the left, but in play, so we can't complain about that. Texas wedge from the fringe. Trickles on and puts a good chance to go in just to the low. But a tap in par to start. What a great feeling. Let's go. Hole two par four. Dog leg left to right. Water all the way right and protecting the green. Let the big dog eat and hits it skinny and never gets a foot off the ground but rolls out extremely well. Mid iron approach pulled slightly left to right. Ends up just short of the green, but still pretty good. Bump and run, lands pin high and trickles to the top side of the green. Long downhill par, and it just stays to the left. But tap in bogey, amateur style, good hole. Hole three, par five, straight away, and then straight away some more. Water running all the way up the right. Let the big dog eat and struck extremely well. Right out into the short grass we go. Three wood carrying distance gets slightly blocked to the left and gets on the cart path and ends up into the sand. Punchy shot out towards the green ends up just short into the bunker in the front. Splashy sand shot out in one, that's the rule. Giving me a long look at par. And never got it high enough and zoom zoom right on by. Let's see if I can jump up here and clean up my bogey and oh no to the low again. Unfortunate double. Hole oh, for par four straightaway as you can see. Nothing to worry except the fairway bunker on the right. Standard cutoff left to right we go and almost gets there but ends up short. So, chunk one back to the center of the fairway, but again, that's okay. Floppy chip shot, carries the bunker and lands on the green, gives me another look at par. And trickle, 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 just short again. Another tap in bogey. Always a good thing. Right into hole five, par three, all carry over water, bunkers protecting the back. Fairway wood just cherry and making sure I clear the water and I meet that goal and it rolls left to right Right to the edge of the fringe Long birdie putt and swing and swing and big right to left on the way back and just a touch short But a tap in par what a great thing Let's go Hole six par four again straight away as you can see and slightly back to the right water all the way up the left and a smattering of bunkers let the big dog eat, struck well, into the short grass we go. Fairway wood gets slightly blocked left to right and unfortunately end up in a bunker here. But splashy sand shot out in one is the rule, meet that goal. Leaving me this long, long putt and zoom zoom right on by. Leaving me quite the test on the way back. And boom, let's go on to the next hole. Hole seven, par four, dog leg left to right, water on the right, bunkers on the left. Nothing left to do but tee it high, let it fly. Slightly blocked left to right into some rough patchy area of sand. Get quick and just let it roll right back to the middle of the fairway, which is an okay thing. Texas wedge from the fairway and just gets it up onto the green. Leaving me this long par putt that just sneaks to the outside. But another little tap in bogey. Can't complain about that. 
moving right along into hole eight par three straightaways you can see water not really in play bunkers left and right fairway wood struck extremely well just gets pushed to the left and misses the bunker which is a good thing bump and run chip back onto the surface giving me a look at par long par putt that just gets to the high side but yet another little tap in bogey let's go big finishing hole hole nine par five water all the way up the left trees right let the big dog eat one more time and kaboom right out into the middle we go what a great start fairway wood struck extremely well Keeps it right into that short grass, giving me a short wedge into this green. Flop it high, right onto the surface, and it scoots right on by the pin to the fringe, to the back. Long birdie putt to finish, tracking, 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 and just short. But a tap in par, always a good thing. What a great course, great hole, great day. This has been part two of the Stuby Course Vlog here at Shipyard, the Brigantine 9. Play some good golf. Play some bad golf. But all in all, still had a great day. If you've enjoyed this content, give it a like. If you want to see more golf content, subscribe to the channel. And as always, thank you for watching. Everyone have a great day. Every high and low, you got to pick yourself up. Keep on practicing. Keep on playing. Hope to see you out there. Do you want to know?